VTag or item details customizer was designed to allow system admins to have complete control over the item details section within quote, invoice, sales, or purchase order. Um, let's take a look at a few examples. The invoice that I'm going to open has a very limited setup, meaning that we only have five columns on the item details. We can see the name, description, quantity list, and net price. And down below, we only have a grand total. With our extension, you can remove all the columns that are not needed, as well as the totals, to make it as simple as possible for your business. Next, let's move to one of more complicated setups, which is a service order. If we open an existing service order, we will see down below that we have a lot of custom fields added to this item details section. We have quantity, special instructions, material, color, additions, weight, labor hours, date, etc. So all of those custom fields were added using the tool that we created, which does not require any coding experience and that can be configured from the user interface. In addition, we have customized totals. As you can see, we have total number of items, which basically adds up the quantity, total weight, linear fit, project management, and estimated labor hours. All of these totals have been pre-configured and the formulas were defined in the configuration panel. If I edit this service order, you can see it functions as the fields would be native to this section. You can update the information and save the service order. The other nice thing about it is as you update the information on any fields that are formula fields which can be configured, it will automatically update the following value. For example, if you see at my total weight field, it's 6,000. And if I add a few zeros, you can see it immediately updates the totals with the new value. It works the same way if the labor hours would have been a formula field, and if I changed any of the fields that connect to labor hours, it would automatically update and show the new value. If I go to my service order again, we added the ability to export to PDF. So if you were to add columns and totals to your service order quotes, invoices, or purchase orders, you will then be able to integrate this with PDF Maker and create professional PDFs, which will include all the custom fields added to the item details, as well as the custom totals. The next example we have is purchase order. In this example, we added a different set of fields, which are the item name, description, special notes. We added the tracking number, which is a commonly used field, estimated delivery date, and then the last three fields, we just left them as is, since they are standard VTiger fields. We did not need to remove them. And if I scroll down, we have few custom totals created is say if you get a discount from reseller you can automatically apply it so you don't have to do the math uh, taxes shipping and handling adjustments etc so again all of these fields were configured in the configuration panel and are available for the system admin to do so so now let's take a look at the configuration and see how we can create those fields and customize the item details as well as the totals. To do so, go to CRM settings and then under other settings we have item details customizer advanced. And now we're presented with a screen where we can see all four modules that have the item details section and where we'll be able to customize those. Say so let's go to the invoice and you can see that the invoice configuration was very robust which means that we basically disabled few of the fields that we did not need on the invoice. We can simply activate or deactivate the field. 
and if we go to the service order which is a sales order we then have a lot more fields that we added as well as disable most of the standard fields to achieve the functionality that we need so if I scroll down you can see the special instructions, the material, the color, additions, etc. All those fields were added by the user. So in order to add a new field to the item details, is what you would do is you would just click on add new column and then the new box would show up. Each box represents a column. You would put in the name of the column, then you would have to select the field from the product and the service. This is necessary to make this compatible with autofill so when you create a column and select a field for example dimensions and I'd say number of units so when you add a product or a service to the quote invoice or service order it will then bring the dimension value and put it into this column so it will basically function as it would be a description or the list price field next you can specify if the field is mandatory and you can activate or deactivate it once you created it. Um, the other nice feature is the width. You will be able to customize and set the width of each column. This is extremely useful for records which have a lot of columns and given that you can set the width of them it will help you to keep the screen nice and clean. Um, lastly we have the ability to customize the formula. So you can see the net price is a standard column and what we have in this box is basically a formula field. So every field in this view can have a custom formula. So instead of using the standard VTiger formulas we will allow the users to create their own formulas or they can just use the standard that comes with the tool. Once you install the extension for the first time, it will have the formulas predefined for you, so you don't have to do those. However, if you want to change the formulas, you feel free to do so. You will simply click on the information icon, and it gives you the, the name of the field, and you can just put it into another field and use the formula to add, subtract, divide, or multiply. You can also use parentheses. So the possible math formulas would be division, multiplication, minus add, and use parentheses. To, and using those formulas, you'll be able to configure and customize all the column formulas as needed. Next, um, we have the totals. Um, totals can be customized as well. So if we click on totals, you can see that we have a custom total called total number of items. And what it does, it takes basically it sums the quantity of all the items on the service order. And the quantity variable comes from the quantity field. If I click here again, I get the same quantity field. If I go back to totals, that's what it is. And then we're also calculating the total of weight for the service order. If I go back to items and find my weight column, I click here. This is what is being used there. So you can simply copy and then go to totals and you can sum and put that in there. Same thing for linear feed. And the project management hours is a data entry field. So if you check it to be as a data entry field, it will then allow you to input a value it can be positive or negative and that can be used then in other formulas this basically works as adjustment field that is currently standard so in this case we have the formula off so we're going to sum all the labor hours from the service order and then we'll add the project management hours so if I quickly switch back to my service order and say if I edit it you can see that this is where the labor hours come from and this is where all of those are summed. So if I add labor hours you can see the number increases and if I add here it increases as well. So this is a very powerful tool allowing you to customize your VTiger, special item details and the totals.